third grade, my, my oldest son came home and he was like, Mom, I'm going to go to ATM. And I go, no, not ATM, A&M. So he was excited and from that point on we started talking about college. And he talked about it and he has two younger siblings. His brother is four years younger and his sister is five. So they would listen to their brother talk about college. Well, in fourth grade, his teacher graduated from UT. And from that point on, my house has been orange because he was going to go to UT. That's all he ever talked about. And my other two said, we're going to go to U UT too. And I was like, that's great. So we talked about it. And I've, I've always said, when you finish school, this is what the next step is. College was always, it's going to happen. I'm going to make sure that it happens. We're, we're going to do this together. Um, so it did happen. Have confidence that when that time comes, there is help out there. There's resources there. But continue to build that dream in your child at a young age to let them know that that opportunity is there. When I look back, I was somewhat scared because I had not myself gone through that whole entire process. But when my son talked about it, as if he was going to go and I thought to myself why is he not going to go you know I know that there's resources out there to, to help but when they're young start start talking about it start helping them see that dream Christopher my my oldest son had his heart set on UT so we had orange chairs orange cups everything was UT well when he got it into high school and he started going through his freshman his sophomore year and his junior year started to realize that that UT dream for him to go straight from graduating and walking on to the U UT campus as a freshman was not possible because UT does have a cap of the top 8%. But he found a way and he was very much the head person here to say I can't walk on there but UT offers a cap program to where I could go to, to one of their, their sister schools because he did and will keep up his G GPA and I could go to their sister school for the first year and then I'm guaranteed a spot on the sophomore year walking on to U UT as long as he met all the requirements of the program. We talked to counselors and Christopher, my oldest child, is different from my middle child. Christopher is one that he actually drug me through through the whole process. I went with, with him. He was very much asking questions because I personally had not gone through the whole experience. He would tell me, Mom, this this is going to happen Saturday. I'm going to be testing. I need fifty dollars. He would he walked me through the whole entire process. When we went, because he did go to he is at U, UTSA now, and we went there and the whole cap program and there was students there, and just listening, I was so emotional because I was like son's going to college here and it was awesome it was just awesome but he took me there he took me for the ride now my middle child I'm gonna have to take him through the whole ride but he wants to go to college so he is there and he's gone through the cap cap program he loved the campus so much and he joined Sigma Pi he got to meet a, a lot of people and he said I'm gonna stay one one more year here mom and then I'm headed to UT and he starts this August, his second year of college.